Hello, my name is uh, Logan Curtis, and this summer I, as part of uh, uh, RCEU, I did, um, I created a pulse power control system, uh, and I was working with uh, Dr. Jason Caspery. So what is a pulse power control system? Uh, and I define that as a, a system, uh, is a combination of uh, software and hardware solutions that work together to allow for a safe operation of a pulse power device. And I had to uh, develop both the hardware and the software side at the same time and make them work together to create this solution. So I used uh, off-the-shelf uh, parts. So I used a Raspberry Pi, uh, an Arduino Uno, and some Ethernet uh, over fiber modules. So the, R the uh, Raspberry Pi sort of acts like the brain of the control system, and that's what runs the software. And that connects to the uh, Arduino Uno over USB. And the Uno is what interfaces with the relays that are seen in the front of this picture. And uh, in the future will be used to get voltage measurements uh, from the system. In the right hand corner of that picture is the fiber module and that converts a standard ethernet cable into a, a server standard for fiber optics. This electrically isolates uh, this control system from the user preventing any sort of high voltage electricity from reaching the user which is uh, a very important thing to avoid. And the software uh, was custom written uh, by me using Python and uh, Python was chosen because it was something I was familiar with and it, it allows for um, rapid uh, evolving of the software. So here is a look of one of the versions of the software in the picture below. And so you can see the GUI of the software where we have buttons with indicators and you can also read a voltage value there. And this software on the back end also handles uh, all the communication between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino and several uh, different safety features are built into this program. Uh, one of them is that you can't turn your discharge relay and your charge relay on at the same time. And this prevents any sort of shorting of the power supply and it makes it safer for the user. Also, um, it will automatically try to reconnect with the Arduino if it loses serial connection. So it will keep trying to do the command that you've asked it to do until it actually make sure that it connects to the Arduino and works. And so in conclusion, this uh, system has been tested several times to control a remote power device, uh, uh, controlling a pulse power device remotely. Uh, it protects the user from high voltage, uh, as I said earlier, by being electrically isolated and having lots of distance between the user and the machine. And this is a solution is uh, cheaper than some of the other solutions that were used in the past because instead of using specialized industrial equipment it uses off-the-shelf uh, commercial hardware which means that the system is a, a couple hundred dollars instead of a couple thousand dollars which makes it much more accessible for us to use so thank you very much for listening to my presentation.